Book Review, The Referral Engine by John Janch. So, you need to market your business, but you don't have a big fat budget for that. What if we tell you that you can create a system so that your current customers will bring in new customers, or your brand will market itself? Yes, you heard it right, that's possible by creating a process of referral. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing The Referral Engine by John Janch, which is an ultimate guide to marketing a business through referrals. The book has 13 chapters in total. Here, we are going to be discussing the key points that are the essence of this book. But, before you learn key points that are the essence of this book, pay attention to the big red subscription button. As soon as you click it, you will be taken to the wealthy side, the life you deserve, where you'll find hundreds of videos. These videos contain the answers to almost any question you may have. There are also daily updates, so if you want to stay tuned, remember to turn on notifications. Making referrals is human nature. Before getting into the details, we want you to recall how many times you have referred something to your friends or family. Did you do it on purpose, or were you having a random conversation about sushi, and all of a sudden, you heard yourself talking about your favorite sushi place? The chances are it was a reflex as if you couldn't help yourself but share the experience. According to this book, humans are hardwired to make referrals whenever they like something and have a positive experience. This is the basic instinct that you can use to market your business. But the question is, how can you get someone to refer your business, as referring is often risky? Risky in a way that, what if you refer something to someone, and what if they don't like it? Sometimes, holding back a referral is much more than just a fear of someone not liking it, it's also about the magnitude of risk involved. For example, referring to your favorite Mexican restaurant would be an easier task than referring to an accountant. So, to make your business worthy of referral, all you have to do is build trust and emotional connection. This way, you can show your customers that you genuinely care about them. But, to get referrals, you will have to create a system first. The next key points highlight the strategies that you can use to make your business referral worthy, build trust, and reduce risk. Stand out! Let's be honest, there are hundreds of other businesses doing the same things as you are doing. Why should customers prefer you? What makes you special? The answer is simple. Customers will only prefer you over others if you stand out. Showing them you are the best at what you do is not enough. You have to provide your customers with something unique that can define your brand. You have to give them a reason to talk about your brand. Give your brand an authentic purpose. People love brands that are based on purpose. John Janch has given several examples of such exceptional businesses which stand out among others, although our favorite one is Tom's Shoes. The brand donates a pair of shoes for every pair that it sells, which makes it stand out among many other brands that sell shoes. In my view, this brand is a great example of a business with purpose. You can take inspiration from such businesses. You are just one Google search away from finding hundreds of such brands. Figure out your ideal customers. After you have determined how to stand out, the next big thing is figuring out your ideal customers. You might have heard of the quotation, one shoe does not fit all. The same saying goes for business. You cannot be everyone's first choice when they make referrals. So, the next thing you have to do is figure out your ideal customers. Give your brand a story that resonates with your ideal customers and make it sound authentic, revealing, and relevant to their needs. That way, you can connect with them on an emotional level. Speaking of a brand with a story, we came across this brand on social media, which stuck with us even though we were not their ideal customer, and it's all because of the brand story. We will quickly tell you before moving on. So, a young woman started losing hair during the pandemic due to increased stress, and things got worse and she was getting bald. Medications were not working for her, so, she decided to take the matter into her own hands and formulated a blend. Basically, a hair oil that worked miraculously, and she got her hair back within a year. The most amazing part was that she documented the entire journey to back up her claims. Eventually, the brand became a huge success within one year. Enjoying till now? Please hit the subscribe button now, like, share, and comment. And yes, keep watching. Plan the content. So, once you have figured out your target audience and discovered ways to make your business stand out, it's time for you to use the power of social media and connect with your customers through your content. 
For this, you will need to identify the triggers of your ideal customers that will make them talk about you. You will need to make an educational white paper for this purpose. That white paper should have a catchy title, a summary, memorable stories from ideal customers, visual content to back up your claims, and a call to action as a piece of advice. Now that you have a white paper, it is time to convert it into different formats, such as ebooks, webinars, seminars, presentations, short videos, etc. That way, you can reinvent your content without having to come up with new content every day. Also, make sure to offer them a follow up and collect emails. People love to talk about positive and happy experiences, so, the last thing you need to do is collect testimonials. Testimonials will encourage others to buy from you. Online advertising The next thing after connecting with your target audience through your content is advertising. Okay, we have a quick question for you. How many people do you know who don't use social media or the internet in general? Well, we don't know about you, but we don't know anyone like that. That's why you should harness the power of the internet to market your business. Have a blog or website to keep your ideal customers updated with events, sales, and announcements. John Janch also listed a few daily, weekly, monthly, and annual tasks to engage your target audience. Also, you should have an existence across various social media sites to connect with your customers. Your next goal should be press coverage from reputable and trustworthy sources. Now, you might be thinking, but how do I get them to notice me? That's where your social media presence comes into play. You have to simply follow the relevant journalists, read whatever they publish, and connect with them through engaging with their content. Finally, begin to pass your content to them. That way, you can get them to notice you without forcing them. Build a partner network. After you are done advertising, most of the work in convincing your customers to refer you is done here. The next thing is increasing the scope of referrals. Think about it. How many referrals can your ideal customer make? Four? Five? Eight? Thus, to increase the scope of your referrals, you need to partner up with businesses selling a non-competing product but sharing a similar ideal customer profile. Don't be confused, we will give you a quick example. For instance, there are high chances that a business that sells workout mats has similar customers to the business which sells workout sets for women. If these two businesses collaborate, the number of potential referrals will increase, which will eventually increase the number of customers. You get the point. As John Janch stated himself, a happy customer might know three or four ideal referrals, but a large indirect network partner may have the trust of several hundred. So, develop a mutually trustworthy relationship with such businesses and find suitable ways to pair up your services and products. You can invite them as guest bloggers or even come up with an entirely new product or service through co-branding. Create a plan for receiving referrals. When you are done with creating a system for getting referrals, it's finally time to receive them. For receiving referrals, you'll have to come up with a plan or strategy. You have to make sure that your request for referral sounds like a benefit for them rather than you asking for help. First thing first, recognize the window of time. The best time to ask for a referral is when your customer tells you that they are happy with your product or service. The next thing you will have to do is thank them publicly and make them feel appreciated. You can make them feel appreciated by giving them any kind of bonus, be it a gift, a sample of a newly launched product, or even chocolates. The goal here is to build a strong connection with them and reward them for their referral. You must be thinking, this is it, but your work is not done yet. Make sure to follow up with new customers who came through a referral. If the new customers are not ready to buy yet, give them some time to know you better. Give them new information, reports, or discount to build a connection. John Janch has quoted an example in this book, and we love this idea. It's about Omaha Steaks' plan to receive a referral. What they did was encourage their customers to bring friends to try. For every two friends who tried Omaha Steaks, they gave $20 reward on their next purchase of $80 or more. Isn't it clever but persuading at the same time? Final advice from the author. At the end of the book, John Janch gives some final advice, and we think you all need to hear that. He said that creating a referral-worthy business is not a quick process. If you are willing to create an exceptional business, you will have to go above and beyond and rethink everything you do. In other words, you will have to reinvent your brand, 
create a new foundation, and come up with new strategies. It will surely lead you to do your business in a better way. So, don't give up too early, as there is no shortcut to taking your business to the next level. John Janch has also given the number of ideas used by businesses for creating a referral process. He also discussed a few specific businesses and ideas that they can use to make their business worthy of referrals. The book was full of information, and we tried our best to pack all the essential elements of the referral process into this short video. Did you enjoy the video? Please hit the subscribe button, like, share, and comment.